This is Steve with Pro Tools PC and on this video I want to talk about the new 11 Mark II plugin. This is an update to the 11 plugin where they're taking the amps, cabinets, and microphones uh, that were from the expansion pack in the 11 rack and bringing them into the plugin. So here we can go see the new amps. Uh, we got some new fenders in here, some plexis. Uh, the MS-30, which is one I really liked, and the Bogners, of course, which are classics, and then the DC series, which are basically uh, custom or hybrid bass amps from Avid. And then we got the uh, bass, so we got DC bass here, as well as the, um, where'd it go? There it is, the Blue Line bass. And up here we have all of our cabinets, including the new ones. And down here we have all of our microphones, including the new ones. One of the first things you'll notice right away is the link light here. So when you go to, say, an amp and change it, it will automatically link the matching cabinet for that amp. And then if you go and shut off the link light uh, and you change your amp head, it will not change the cabinet, which is the way it uh, previously always worked. If you are on a head of some sort and you click the link light, it will automatically link the correct cabinet to that head. Another thing to mention is the new speaker break up here uh, is now supposed to uh, more closely resemble the 11 rack speaker break up. When installing the 11 Mark II, it will overwrite the original 11 installer. So let's go in here and open up our presets. Um, here we go. We can see the original 11 presets folder is existing. It didn't erase it or anything like that. So now with the Mark II, we do have a plugin of just the cabinets. So here on a mono aux track, let's find the cabinet plugin. And here we have access to our cabinets and the microphones on their own track. Then what we can do is set the input of the mono aux track to the preamp output of the Mark plugin. So let's click here on the input, go to plugin. Uh, we got 11 Mark II, Mark I, which is the track name. Insert A, it's in the first insert point, and select the pre speaker out. And now that preamp output is feeding that mono aux, but it is still feeding the original channel and setup as we originally had it set up, but it's also feeding now that aux channel. If you want to now, you can keep going and create as many tracks with cabinets as you want. Then go ahead and set the input. And then now it'll be playing out of all three channels. Another thing to be aware of is if you have uh, multiple instantiations of the plugin and you go to set uh, the mono track input, it can get a bit confusing. So if you pay attention uh, on the second line, you can see the track names, Mark 1 and Boog match the tracks. And then it also states the insert point. So you would switch it to a uh, bug if you want it to be that uh, preamp output feeding that mono aux. Okay, that is a quick overview of the new plugin. And thanks for watching the video and feel free to contact us with any questions or comments. Mm -hmm.